everyone, Vinshim here. Today we're doing another just drawing video, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so this drawing was actually a request from the last video, so thank you for that. Uh, the comment said a monster drawing, so I decided for this one I would draw a mermaid that lives at the bottom of the ocean. I figured that mermaids, like humans, would look and sound different depending on which ocean or sea that they came from. Uh, so they would sound and look different and based on the, the sea or the ocean and what like fish tail they have. So for a deep ocean mermaid, I based them off of an angler fish or a lantern fish. In terms of design, I figured that because they're so far down, there's little to no light at the bottom of the ocean. So the part that's more their skin is very pale. Like the, they haven't gotten like sunlight. Um, so I elongated the tail for it, and I again used a very thin pen, so you could it's outlined, but you can still like see the color. Um, so for in terms of design, I used I elongated the tail of an anglerfish, and I gave them pretty sharp teeth because anglerfish are carnivores, and I gave them the little like lantern thing that glows to attract prey. Uh, in terms of colors, again pale skin because of like no light at the bottom of the ocean and for the for the hair I chose like an orangey colour so I'm just doing the skin and the thing at the moment for the tips of the fingers I gave them kind of like a blackened like tips of the fingers because I thought that that would just look quite cool and make it them look a bit more like menacing and threatening. I made the tips of the tail grey because a lot of anglerfish have like kind of like whiskery kind of ends of their tails. So I gave them sort of grey ones through that. And then because a lot of deep sea creatures are actually like reds and oranges and quite bright colours, but because of the low light levels they appear blue or black, so I made the main colour of the tail and the hair like a, quite a bright orange colour, because a lot of anglerfish are actually orange, or at least the ones I found anyway when I searched up ideas for the, for the tail. I'm just blending the colours to make them a bit like look deeper so that the skin and the grey bit at the end fades into each other rather than being like solid blocks of colour. You can see I'm just blending out some of the colours to make them look a bit deeper. I used a blue light because that's blue light is the colour that the little lantern bit actually emits is like a bluish light. So lantern fish can see in blue light pretty well. And I faded the actual lantern bit from blue to grey to orange to fit in with the hair. You can see for the eyes I used like quite a grey because a lot of deep sea creatures can't see very well. Although lanternfish can see because of the, their bioluminescence, um, they still can't see very well like in terms of like light because there's not a lot of light in the, of the ocean. I figured that in terms of how deep sea mermaids would fit in with like other like other mermaids from different oceans it was to be quite large compared to other mermaids because a lot of deep sea creatures are actually quite big. So I figured that even though lanternfish are the biggest of them are like 3.3 feet, I think. Um, 
So even though lantern fish are quite small in comparison to other sea creatures, a lot of like deep sea creatures are quite big. So I figured that they'd be maybe slightly larger than like freshwater or like like the mermaids you find um, closer to the like, closer to the surface. I also figured they'd have worse eyesight because again, little to no light. Um, and they'd be quite quiet. Not really sure how accents would work. That's not really my forte. Um, they would be quieter, and it's quite cold down there, so they probably like to be less adjusted to heat because it's cold at the bottom of the ocean. Um, for the background, I used a dark grey and then went over the dark grey with a dark blue to create like a really dark, like a, a really dark blue. So it would kind of fit with like how dark the bottom of the ocean is. Um, I feel like deep sea mermaids would actually be quite like aggressive, even though even though they're like quite quiet and I really most deep sea creatures, like especially like lantern fish, are carnivores, as I've already mentioned. So I feel like a lot of them would be like more threatening and aggressive than other mermaids. I didn't really do much shading for this drawing, I more just added flow to the drawing. Um, so you can see I'm like using like colored pencils to add a little like the finishing touches. So I used a darker orange pencil to add shading and adding shading to the tail, like the um like the scales. Because I didn't I didn't really do shading for the drawing, um, which I quite like. I only did a little bit. Um, I used a blue pencil and a white pencil on the really dark background to make a kind of glowy effect around the, around the little lantern on the top of their head. Um, and then used a blue pencil to go around the edges of where the light would glow onto, like the actual mermaid itself, as it attracts its prey. So just adding in finishing touches with the pencil, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed! <laughs>